Good morning, Ellsworth Library friends. It's Miss Caroline here with our 10 a.m. story time, and I am live at East End Park. And I am using a microphone today because we have some really noisy cars going by, so I hope that you can hear me and that it's not too loud. Um, it was kind of a wet morning, and I decided to come out to the park and see if anyone would be able to join me. Um, but I will come to you uh, via Facebook Live this morning instead. And I hope uh, you will find this either here or on our YouTube channel, which I will post to uh, later today. Um, we uh, This month of May, we started having our 10 a.m. story times in East, at East End Park. Um, and we've been really excited to have some of you join us. Um, Next week is Memorial Day weekend, so we will not have story time in the park on, I think it's May 28th, um, but we will be here all summer long except for the Friday of July 4th, which I think is July 2nd. So every Friday this summer, um, starting June 4th again, we will be here in the park and we would love to see you out here at 10 a.m. on Fridays. To get us started today, um, I have a new welcome song that we use every week, and so I would like to sing that with you together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we get together, the more we read together, the happier we'll be. I also wanted to start today with a little bit of a chant where we pat our legs and clap our hands and get to know each other's names. And I'm hoping you can practice this at home. Um, and also, along with our names, we're gonna practice our ABCs, our letters. Do you all know what letter your name starts with? It's a good way to practice um, and a fun way to practice um, our names. We pat and clap on each kind of each syllable and we're going to learn some name I'm going to introduce myself with a name and the first letter that my name starts with and then you could try this at home hello my name is Caroline and it starts with the letter C how about you what's your name and what does your name start with The first book I'm going to share with you today is actually an ABC book, so we're going to sing our ABCs kind of slowly, um, but this book is called Gone Wild, an Endangered Animal Alphabet, and it kind of has some unique letters. You can see on the front, we've got a G, but what does it look like? It looks like a goose, and here's our O that looks like an owl. And this might be a fun drawing exercise for those of you who have older kids, um, turning letters into animals or turning letters um, into self-portraits. Um, take the le first letter of your name and see if you can draw yourself into that letter. Um, I think that would be a really fun drawing exercise. So this is Gone Wild. An Endangered Animal Alphabet by David McLimmons, and it's published by Walker and Company. A is for alligator. B is for boa. Do you can you tell what kind of animal a boa is? A boa is a type of snake. 
C is for Cherasin, which is a fish. D is for duck. E is for earwig. Do you know what an earwig is? It's an insect. F. Do you know what F is? F is for flamingo. And G is for goose. H is for hare. And I is for ibis. J is for J, J A Y, a type of bird. K is for katydid, which is another type of insect. Did you know that insects could be endangered? Do you know what endangered means? There are animals on Earth that there are very few numbers left of, and we call them endangered means we need to work extra hard to protect them so they don't go extinct or disappear. And there are so many people in the world, this is the good news, that are that love animals and are doing everything they can to help the animals. L is for leopard. M is for moth. N is for newt. A newt is kind of like a salamander. It's a type of amphibian, like a frog, except it looks more a little more like a lizard, but it doesn't isn't dry like a lizard. It's wet like a frog. O is for owl. P is for clover. Q is for quoll. A quoll is like a little mammal that lives in Australia. A long tail kind of looks like a little a bigger mouse with a long tail. R is for rhinoceros. S is for stork. T is for tapir. U is for uakari, which is a kind of uh, monkey, I think, or a primate, one or the other. V is for vole. W is for wolf. X is for Xenopus gilli. Now that is a scientific name in Latin, which is a type of frog called the Cape Clawed Frog. And Y is for yak. And Z, can you tell what Z is? Z is for zebra. There's a type of zebra that is endangered. So let's go through this book again a little bit quickly and sing our ABCs. Can you sing your ABCs with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now you know your ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. Now I want to share a nursery rhyme with you. It's called Little Paul Parrot. Little Paul Parrot sat in his garret eating toast and tea. A little brown mouse jumped into the house and stole it all away. I don't know if any of you have ever heard that one, um, but nursery rhymes are a really good um, tool to use to talk about rhyming words and poetry um, with our youngest people. So um, I don't know that they teach nursery rhymes anymore, but it is a good way to, um, to help your kids learn some fun language. And they're usually pretty easy to memorize, um, which is also a good skill to work on by repeating things over and over and over again. We can 
learn them by memory. Our next book is also one that we can sing. And this is called Earth Song. And it's based on a song by Sally Rogers called Over in the Endangered Meadow. Um, and I will post a link to her song. It's kind of a nice uh, song to listen to. Um, but the illustrations are by Melissa Bay Mathis. And you may know this song. There's a traditional song called Over in the Meadow. And this one just um, takes it a step further and talks about some animals that are endangered that we must work to protect. In my grandparents' parlor was an overstuffed chair. We climbed up in my grandpa's lap when he sat there. Sing, said my grandpa, let's sing, said we. And this is what we sang upon our grandpa's knee. In the North Atlantic Ocean, neath the Arctic sun, lived a mom and papa right whale and their whale calf one. Blow, said the mother, I blow, said the one, and they blew and they spouted beneath the Arctic sun. Do you know what this animal is? A lot of people love these. Far away in China, where the bamboo grew, lived a young mother panda and her little pandas too. Chew, said the mother, we chew, said the two, and they chewed in far off China where the bamboo grew. What animal do we have here? In the Bangladeshi jungles where the tigers roam free, lived a mother Bengal tiger and her little cubs three. Pounce, said the mother, we pounce, said the three, and they pounced in the jungles where the tigers roam free. In the Gujakari forest where the serpent eagles soar, an Asiatic lioness groomed her golden cubs four. Roar, said the mother, we roar, said the four, and they roared in the forest where the serpent eagles soar. At the mouth of a tunnel where the prairie dogs dive, stood a black-footed ferret and her little ferrets five. Stand still, said the mother, we will, said the five, and they stood at attention where the prairie dogs die. Neath the rainforest canopy where monkeys play their tricks, flew a sun con your mother and her noisy nestling six. Shriek, said the mother, we shriek, squawked the six, and they shrieked through the canopy as monkeys played tricks. In the Arizona desert, in the heat of 111, lived a mother gila monster and her little monster seven. Strike, said the mother, we strike, said the seven, and they stuck their little tongues out in the heat of 111. That is hot in the desert, 111 degrees. On a beach their mother visited again and again, the leatherback turtles hatched eight, nine, ten. Swim, said some others, we swim, said the ten, and they swam from the beach, but they'll come back again. On the frigid arctic tundra where auroras paint the heavens, lived a grizzled mama gray wolf and her pack of pups eleven. Howl, growled the mother wheel. Howl, growled the eleven. And they howled on the tundra where auroras paint the heavens. In the swampy Florida Keys south of Lake Okeechobee, a mother croc taught her babies 20, 30, 40. Paddle urged the mother, we paddle piped the 40, and they paddled in the swamp south of Lake Okeechobee. Coiled round her nest of eggs for 50 lonely days, a mother python longed to watch her hundred snakelets play. Hatch, said the mother, we'll hatch, they hummed for days. And finally, when they hatched, she watched her snakelets play. Fin, fur, and feather, and the human race must share Mother Earth as she spins through space. 
share, said my grandpa, please share this place and we'll care for Mother Earth as she spins through space. Now I want to see um, if you know the names of some animals that are endangered. This book is called Don't Disappear. It's by Chelsea Clinton. And I'm not going to read everything in here, but I thought we could guess some animals. Because I bet you know some of your animals that are here on this earth that we need to protect. And maybe some of them you don't, so we can learn some new ones. There are animals on every continent and in every ocean on earth, tall ones and short ones, massive ones and smaller ones, animals with long necks and long legs, animals that are strong and not so strong. Every animal species is unique and important to life on earth. Some are almost gone and could become extinct if we don't act now to save them. Do you know what animal this is? Let me hear you. That's right. It's a giraffe. Did you know giraffes were endangered or vulnerable? We need to work to protect them. Do you know what this animal is? Have you seen them at the zoo before? Let me hear you. That's right. That is a gorilla. Do you know what animal this is? This is a whale, that's right. And this is actually a very specific kind of whale called a blue whale, which is the largest thing on earth. The largest living thing. How about this animal? Do you know what this animal is? That's right, it's a rhino, a rhinoceros. They're big horns. And we've seen this animal already in our song. They look so cuddly and cute. I bet you know what this one is. Let me hear you. It's right, it's a panda. This one might be a little bit harder. I don't know if you've ever seen this one. It's big like a whale, but it's a fish, like a shark. So it's called a whale shark. Do you know what animal this is that lives far up north and is the color white and is a cousin to some animals you might see around Wisconsin? That's right, it's a polar bear. You knew that. I bet you know what this one is too. There's a cub and a female one and a male one with this big Harry Maine. I heard you say lion. Good job. Here's some playful animals. Do you know what those are? We have some that live in the in the Mississippi River, but this is a little bit different. This is a sea otter. These otters live in the ocean. Like off the coast of California and in Alaska. I don't know. Do you know this one? You might have seen these at the zoo if you've ever been to Como Zoo. They have kind of a funny name. They have and they have really long arms and like to swing in the trees like this little guy. This is an orangutan. Have you heard that name before of an animal? Oh, and I bet you know this one. A big orange and black cat. Did I hear you say tiger? Oh, and I bet you know this one too. That's right, you knew that one. That's an elephant. Let's make a pledge as fellow inhabitants of planet Earth that we won't let any of these species disappear. And there are lots of ways that you can help. You can visit the zoo and learn about animals and learn how you can protect them. You can make sure that when you buy things, 
are from companies that help protect the animals or the places that these animals live. You can recycle. Make sure you throw trash in the garbage and not on the ground in the park. Plant trees and help celebrate animals and learn all about them because we protect the things we care about. So we want to learn and understand those things around us that we can do something to help protect. All right, I am going to close with a song that you all know, but it's going to have a little bit of a twist. Um, I think you all know Wheels on the Bus anyway. But this, this time we're going to take a trip um, to the watering hole with a bunch of animals. So it's our endangered animals bus. Um, and it goes like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round on the way to the watering hole. And our first animal on the bus is a wolf. Do you know what a wolf sounds like? Can you make your best wolf sound? Oh, that's right. The wolf on the bus goes, oh, 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 oh. The wolf on the bus goes, oh, oh. On the way to the watering hole. Our next animal is an elephant. Do you know what an elephant sounds like? It kind of sounds like a trumpet. <laughs> or Yeah, I'm not very good at elephant noises, but we will try. The elephant on the bus goes the The elephant on the bus goes on the way to the watering hole. What do butterflies do? Because butterflies can be endangered too. They don't really make a noise, but their wings flutter. So let's flutter like a butterfly on the bus. The butterflies on the bus go flutter, 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 flutter. flutter. The butterflies on the bus go flutter, flutter, flutter on the way to the watering hole. How about tigers? Can you growl like a tiger? The tigers on the bus go growl, 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 growl. The tigers on the bus go growl, growl, growl on the way to the watering hole. How about some flamingos? Let's flap like flamingos. The flamingos on the bus go flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 the flamingos on the bus go flap, flap, flap on the way to the watering hole. How about frogs? Because there are frogs that are endangered. What do frogs say? Let's use ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The wheels on the bus go ribbit, 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 ribbit. The frogs on the bus go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit on the way to the watering hole. Let's chew like pandas. The pandas on the bus go choo 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 choo. The pandas on the bus go choo 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 on the way to the watering hole. Look out for the alligators on the bus. The alligators on the bus go snap 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 snap. Snap, snap, snap. The alligators on the bus go snap, snap, snap on the way to the watering hole. The pythons on the bus. That's a type of snake. What do snakes say? The pythons on the bus say hiss, 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 hiss. The pythons on the bus go hiss, hiss, hiss on the way to the watering hole. How about owls? What do owls say? Hoot, hoot. The owls on the bus go hoot, 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 hoot. The owls on the bus go hoot, 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 on the way to the watering hole. Thanks for riding on the bus to the watering hole with me. I hope you can have some fun with that song at home as well. Um, just a few things before we wrap up today. Um, like I said, next week there is no story time in the park because of Memorial Day weekend, um, but we will be back on June 4th at East End Park. We are going to meet rain or shine, so feel free to come down. If it's raining, we'll be in the shelter. Um, if it's super windy or if there's thunder or lightning or any severe weather, we will not meet in the park. 
Um, but I will plan to be here unless the weather is like if, the, if it's raining sideways and we won't stay dry in the shelter, I won't be here. Um, but most of the time we will. Um, and then we will take one break during the summer on July 2nd. Um, part of our story time today with endangered animals was to get you a little bit excited about our summer reading program, which is called Tales and Tales this year. We're gonna be talking about animals and having animal visitors and taking some visits to animals all summer long. So if you are, particularly if you are an animal lover, this summer is for you. Um, but even if you're not so sure about animals, I hope you come down and learn some things about um, all of the wonderful animal visitors we are going to have at Storytime and at Summit Park with some um, special presenters. Carpenter Nature Center is coming, the Creature Teacher is coming, and we have Susta uh, Sustainable Safari is coming with their animal show. We're going to um, plan a couple of field trips to some local farms where you can meet some llamas and some other farm animals um, like lambs and pigs and um, we'll have some story time animal visitors as well. Um, so um, keep a close eye on our website and Facebook page for what we have, what special things we have uh, coming. Um, we do have a uh, summer pamphlet coming out, and um, those of you who have kids at, in the elementary school or in St. Francis will probably see those coming home next week. Um, and we have um, lots of other things planned, like art in the park, and Together Thursday is part of the summer fun series. Um, the E3 Community Development has every Thursday with the farmers market has music or crafts or other activities for families and adults and kids to do. Um, so I hope that you are as excited as we are to see you all outdoors this summer. Um, as always, if you have any questions or need anything, the library is here for you. Um, give us a call. Um, you can come in for browsing or to use the computers by appointment um, and there is a discussion about opening completely soon so stay tuned for some information about that um, depending on what our library board decides. Um, I'm just super excited um, to be able to see you guys face to face and to see how much your kids have grown and to meet new friends and I hope you are too and are excited about our summer together. Um, grab and go kits are in the back hallway of the library and I do my best to keep up with those um, so keep checking back if you haven't seen something new for a while. Um, those would be a fun rainy day weekend um, thing to do and um, it was good to see you and I look forward to seeing people in June. Have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend. Bye from Ms. Caroline. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around, tickle your nose, reach down low, reach up high. Story time is over. Wave goodbye.